for most of the rest of the world, Russia is oligarchs, oil, Putin. That's probably it. Except there's this other Russia, which is the 19th century. It's Tolstoy, it's Dostoevsky, it's Chekhov. To some degree, it's the Bolshoi in its tradition. It's the great tradition of the Russian violin. It's a fantastic musical tradition. It's Stanislavski. It's the art collections, the visual arts. That hasn't stopped. It's all out there and it's doing really exciting things. And in the same way that we could take today's writers and connect today's writers to the tradition of Tolstoy, Tovsky, Chekhov, Bulgakov, etc. There's no reason why we should, and in fact, every reason why we should be doing exactly the same thing with contemporary Russian dance, the Bolshoi. Why shouldn't we be doing it with the great art collections and the great art collectors? Why shouldn't we be doing it with the, the creative artists? Why shouldn't we be doing it with the musicians? It, it's all out there, and it's, it's like a, a great big wheat field that all you need to do is get out there and mow it down, package it, and show it to the world. It makes it sound easy. It's not easy, but it's certainly there for the taking. <laughs>